Hi everyone. Um, before this episode starts, I would just like to add a quick um, trigger warning, I guess. Um, this episode does deal with topics such as assault and some violence and violent talks and stuff like that. But I think it is what's required of us to fully describe these events in this person. Um, so if that's not what you're into, and if, if you really just are looking for a fun, wholesome time, either check out another episode or skip to around 54 minutes. Um, there's some, there's still some wholesome family SBC fun waiting for you in this episode. But yeah, here's the Alberto episode, everyone. Thank you, and I hope you learned something. BAM! Here's my dick! That's <laughs> yep. it, that's it. Hey everybody, welcome to the uh, SBC podcast, and we got a yeah, pretty important... Special episode uh, discussion here. Discussion episode that we have today. Uh, with us, we have obviously Patrick Warburton, Fan53, and Oh, I Sarah thought Tussock. was going to be gone, but that's really nice to see him again. But um, we have two special guests who I'd like to introduce themselves. Uh, my name is Gabe Formioli, and I am not an alcoholic. I'm just here in AA because I'm lonely. Yes, uh, great, yes. Yes, sir. I'm uh, Ari, Harpy's DZZ on Twitter. Uh, follow that for banger memes. That's about yes. it. That's yep. powerful. Hell yeah. And we're really here today to talk about mainly the follow-up episode that we had with Alberto. And I, I, from I've been wanting to do this for so long because if there's any like people that like need to like ha- have stuff to say about the Alberto stuff, it's going to be you two. And that's why I'm glad that we're doing this to finally get that's everything a fun story. out. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So this um, is going to be this is going to be a little bit of a different episode. Folks. Yeah, it's, like, it's not as be... funny. Like we'll have fun, but it's like we're like it's more serious. Yeah, kind this of, is gonna be. Like... Subject matter is fucked. Yeah. There's more episodes. If this is not your thing. So we already talked about this. Way, don't worry. Yeah, I, yeah, we already talked about this, but I want to bring it up for people in the recording. One of the best things from the Alberto episode was at the very end. It didn't make the cut. But at the very end, I said, all right, everybody, let's all do sheep noises, start bleeding. And then ah. Alberto went, yeah, we went, ah, and then Alberto said, that's it, I'm bleeding. Yeah, he said, like, that's I'm it, bleeding. I'm done. He's done. He's so pissed off. He's out. Out like the, the trout. Whole time, though, the whole time, though, like, I literally had to hide. Like, I had to make myself a new uh, Discord account and pretend like I was undercover because he blocked my old one. I couldn't let him know that it was me and that he was on my podcast. Yeah. So the whole time I was undercover, and we had oh to pretend to be God. nice to him to get him to talk and to get because if he sensed even a little bit of hostility he would have left so i was fucking i was on edge that whole time it's yeah. like walking on eggshells yeah that's how <laughs> yeah. i feel the the no i think the if we the the hypothetical ben pace cast will be we won't we won't risk losing him except for like at the very start once he starts speaking well he'll he'll understand that we're yeah, freaking out but it won't happen no it'll um, happen, happen someday but there's like a lot of stuff that's going on with alberto right first i would like to start with the newest allegations right now. So what's really like, I, I just saw recently about the Alberto thing is that he was sent, well, I can say nudes, right? Yeah, you can say nudes. Yeah, yeah, so he was he was sent nudes from somebody who was underage. And it's like, yeah, like, why would you post that? And then he posts them on his Twitter for everybody to see. And it's Which like- Which is, first of all, not legal. At all. Legal. Yeah. But also it's just a dick move, like, you and why, do. like, I don't understand, like, Alberto is the person that's been given so many chances every time he messes up, he always makes a big apology, like, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna change, and he never does, <laughs> this is, apology, this is, yeah. this is, yeah, this is strike number, like, what, 23 now? Like, I don't understand, I don't yeah, understand. Yeah, I agree with yeah. our non-rage shit alone, because, um, I should just, uh, say this, uh, <laughs> how do I word this? I do have some underage female friends who have been coursed into sending explicit photos to Alberto, uh, one friend was constantly being messaged by Alberto, like, hey, send nudes, send nudes, send nudes. So then, like, at one point, she kind of just, okay, you know what, fuck it. Which sucks. Uh, wh- whatever gets him off my back. Uh, and then I have another friend who I will also not name, but she was intoxicated, and Alberto knew that she was intoxicated, and she he took advantage of it by asking for nudes. Yikes. And well, obviously, like, it's illegal to, like, post, you know, anything of that matter in the first place. So that was kind of like, you know, already I mean, like, okay, I need to do something about this. Yeah. But I'm also scared because I know for a fact that he has way more photos of even more underage females. And I'm kind of scared for their sake. Yeah, Absolutely. It's, it's, it's illegal yeah. to own, much less post it. Like, because then you are exactly. not only, you are not only in possession of it. You're a distributor are, of it. Yeah, distributor. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So... 
Um, as far, far as like your, your newest posts and like keeping everybody up to date informed, um, I know you said like his mom had gotten involved or something. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, and, oh, then and then like okay. I don't, were the like the police about like to, uh... contacted at all? Go go ahead, go off. All right. So first off, I should probably talk about the police. Um, a few friends of mine. Uh, I, I'm not really sure if they give a shit about me naming them because they're already publicly talking about this anyways. But uh, uh, friends Asher and Felix, who both knew Alberto in real life. Oh, I remember uh, they recently, talking about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they recently uh, went to the police station. And usually, like, when it comes to this shit, because this isn't the first time police have been involved in a case with Alberto, usually the cases don't really go through. But this time, they actually have a case number and everything. So they are being worked on, albeit very slowly. Okay. I should also right. talk about um the fact that Alberto's recently doxxed. <laughs> yeah. He's doxxed? Yeah, he was, like, address, IP, and everything. Obviously, I won't say where he was doxxed yeah, or, like, providing... I, but, like, everything's on there. Yeah. I mean, like, work phone numbers and everything of his parents. Yeah, even if I don't... Even if I think he's a shitty person, I don't believe in doxxing as a... They Personally, even, they I'll say this. Oh, doxxing should only be used as a last resort if someone's doing something illegal and the police refuse to do something about it. I, yeah. Alberto yeah. almost fits that criteria because the police are doing something about it right now. Right, exactly. I can agree with you on that. Especially if, like, they're, like, a really, like, really fucked up person. Now, yeah. I'd like to go back a little bit and discuss how you guys first met Alberto Ooh. and, like, what got you involved <laughs> in all this, what started it. And I have... Okay, I think I was the first one who met Alberto between yeah, me and Ari. Um, mm -hmm. So, up to this point, I've kind of just been uh, silently observing Alberto on Instagram. Got it. Uh, this is, like, back in, like, late 2017 so, when like, uh, the Emily Saga happened. Yeah, at that point, did you know, like, okay, something big's gonna happen here. I should keep yeah, tabs definitely. on this. Yeah, definitely. See, if I remember correctly, um, what happened was <laughs> Alberto and Emily began dating, and Alberto kind of used it as, like, a way to, like, gloat about, oh, guys, I have a girlfriend now. I have a fucking girlfriend. He sure did. I remember it. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, I remember um, that, too. And he would always try to force her into, like, uh, meeting up with him, IRL, all the fucking time. And it really had a toll on her uh, mental emotional state, so well, yeah, she dumped him. Monster. And this is when he went on his he went on his page and uh, said, and I quote, "If your girlfriend dumps you because she has anxiety, she's a thought." Yeah, and then he was making fun of her in a live stream, making fun of the fact yeah. that she has social anxiety. Yeah, which and is trying not to a... do the funny Flintstones voice, and it's like, and, dude. Um... <laughs> I remember during that time he also went on Twitter and said, "If I can, if people can make fun of me for having autism, why can't I make fun of people for having anxiety?" Like, <laughs> that was his justification. Well, I mean, because then he's justifying the fact that you can make fun of people for autism, which I don't think yeah. is. Yeah. A... So then, yeah. like you know, like treat others the way you want to be treated. Just because there are people that have treated you doesn't mean you should treat people the same way. You know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that makes you just as bad. See, I do have a few friends who were uh, observing Alberto even before I was. Uh, I can probably direct them to you if you guys ever want them to have be on the podcast too, because this rabbit hole goes fucking deep. This uh, is like Christian absolutely shit. Yeah, I want to I want to keep this to like an episode. Yeah, one episode. Though, I, but... And I understand that. That's but we've like got, you know, just so it yeah. doesn't get out of proportion. But you, you're aware of certain plans that we might have, so yeah, you can still direct them my way. So yeah. All right. So like, oh, obviously Alberto got backlash back um, when that, when he was making fun of Emily. So then he uh, he cried and screamed on uh, on his story, being like, <laughs> "I have fucking autism, okay?" And like all this shit. <laughs> but then he uh, deleted his meme page. I remember Bear that. Mind, his, his meme page had like twenty three thousand followers. Yeah, he was a big correctly. page. I, I didn't he was. follow him, but I, I certainly knew about him, and I knew he was like a thing. And yeah. then I knew there was controversy, but I didn't know what the controversy was because I just wasn't involved at that point. Yeah, exactly. So then, like, he went on his alternate account. I think it was, like, the same photo of Fred Flintstone every day. I think that's what it's called, which is exactly what it sounds like. He went on live stream, right? I don't know exactly who, nor can I find this exact uh, diss track, but somebody made a diss track on him. <laughs> I remember this. I remember that's this. Awesome. Oh, yeah I, yeah. I remember that. And some one of the lines was something along the lines of, uh, what is going to come out of the closet next or something like that? Something, some gay shit like that. So Alberto took it seriously. <laughs> oh yeah, so then, <sighs> yeah. There's no easy way to, way to say this, um, but everybody knows this. He uh, he said, and I quote, "You guys ever wanted to see a Canadian penis? Well, good for you, good for oh, you. Because you know no. what? Bam! He stripped down, showed everybody his underage Vienna sausage. No. <sighs> and then he said, "Bam! Here's my dick. Here's my fucking dick." And then he said, fuck it, we're listening to this naked. 
if her entire live stream everybody was in chat being like, "What the fuck, Alberto? You just completely fucked up your life." Yeah, like he didn't that's... realize. And then he stopped live streaming and then deleted his, his accounts. And everybody, actually, I remember I wasn't part of the live stream, but I was a, I was on a voice chat on his Discord server when he was offline because everybody was talking about the situation. And then somebody, somebody sent uh, the, a screenshot of him bare naked. And we were like, what the fuck? What actually led up to this point? We had no idea what was going on. We were fucking scared shitless because, you know, number one, he exposed himself. He was underage. And number two, people obviously took screenshots. I wasn't one of them. And a lot of people on the yeah. staff of the server weren't one of them. So just to make sure that, like, we, it didn't, like, trace back to us. Because not that, like, we were the culprits, but, like, you know, people... We didn't want that shit on our hands. Yeah, absolutely. So they deleted the Discord server and we migrated to a different one. I'm not part of that anymore. What, whether do I even remember whatever happened to them? That was like the big spike. And I remember when it came out, I, have, I haven't I have seen the unedited version, but I've seen the edited version where they block everything out. Yeah. But I, I know like people, have, I've talked to people that have said that they saw it like on, like, it. on stream. It's. I don't know why he would do that, or just because somebody released a diss track. It's it's weird. <laughs> I think it's so weird. I think I it's just understand. how I, I I honestly think it's just like how his brain processed. I guess like his logic was in order to prove that I am heterosexual and not a homosexual, I'm going to expose myself. <laughs> yeah, it does. Get that, man. It doesn't really work out, you know. Yeah. Oh oh, there's some news, guys. Shakedown oh. Hawaii is coming to Wii and Wii U. No I'm way! Excited. No way. Dude, is, I think that's kind of old. That's kind of awesome, actually. That is. Um, Ari, do you yeah. want to go through your story of how you met Alberto and how, how this whole thing started? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's not as eventful. Definitely not as eventful. I remember it was, it's, it's, it's funny, but it's not like crazy. Like, no, no, no. Um, you know, but like, I remember when, uh, <laughs> yeah, nobody dies. Sa um, yeah. but basically, <laughs> <laughs> so basically. That, yeah um so basically how that uh how it worked was i remember my friend thomas uh he's been involved in a lot of drama more on the dl um and he i remember he, i used to want to act when i was yeah like yeah like grade 10 so this was around i would say september october of 2018 okay right uh -huh. um so i used to want to act and this is when um alberto was starting up his wards odyssey uh, thing and he and Thomas hit me up. And he's like, "You want to act, right? I got this gig for you." And he invited me over and he showed me at lunch. Uh, we're on lunch break and he showed me the uh, the footage. And I'm like, "Okay, so where's my script?" And he's like, "Oh, there's no script." And I'm like, "Oh, so he just baited me into this bullshit?" And he's like, "Yeah, essentially." And it was pretty funny, but um, you know, I didn't really care. I went along with it. Um, and that that's basically how we met. Honestly, I just was dragged in by a, a friend to be a part of Ward's Odyssey at the time. And then from there we uh, we became friends. Uh, of course, we're not anymore. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah. that that's it. Nothing's too eventful. Just you know, I should probably elaborate on uh, my end. I didn't actually actively become friends with Alberto until like months later, back in like July 2018, when I uh, formally uh, uh, joined his Discord server, and we went to voice chat with a couple people, and then we kind of just you know, the whole reason why I wanted to be friends with him, to be honest was because I kind of wanted to study him. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I wanted yeah. to study him. Yeah, I can see, see where that... Yeah. Yeah, he's like Chris Chan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I want like to a less God. documented Chris Chan. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Essentially, even though he's actually pretty documented, I have a lot of friends who like go out of their way to like archive everything he touches. Uh -huh. Anyhow, like I want to study him to see what leads a person to become the way Alberto is. And I kind of already came to that conclusion a long time ago. And unfortunately, like a lot of shit happened along the way. Right. <laughs> but, um, that's essentially when I actually started becoming friends with Alberto. I see. The thing about it is that it, it, it kind of reminds me of that episode of SpongeBob where they're like, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? How like, I don't know how many times Alberto can be taught the same lesson. And each time he keeps fucking it up. I and think, I don't understand. And it gets worse and worse. I think it is. And like, people like him, never learn. They don't, and they give him leadway. And look, now he's done the worst thing of all so far. I don't understand yeah. this. I and think it, in his head it just doesn't. Issue. It just doesn't add up, and it doesn't compute that like he. I don't know exactly because everyone's brain works different, and Alberto's brain works different than mine. But uh, in if I were to imagine in his position, he thinks maybe if he apologizes, then all of it just goes away, and that's not how the world works. You're it gonna really absolutely not. Yeah. Especially with that sort of thing, it's like, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. And he's almost 
the reason I, I'm assuming he keeps making Instagram accounts is because, like, he almost likes the thrill of the chase, in a sense. He, yeah, and he exactly. doesn't want to let he doesn't want to let Instagram go. Like, he, he likes it, but he It's he almost enjoys... like a drug. It's almost like yeah. a drug. He, he knows it's yeah, bad for him, like but he keeps taking it. Yeah. to the attention. Mm-hmm. Two things to note. Uh, number one, I actually spoke to Alberto's brother at one point um, on Instagram. I'm not going to give out his username, obviously, just to protect his identity because... You know, I'm not, not like that, but um, right. I, I spoke to his brother and he said that apparently the BAM incident caused a lot of strain in the family because his parents uh. found out pretty quickly. Oh, as, of course, yeah. And I, on one hand, I feel bad. On the other hand, and I'm about to get to this, his parents are really, really fucked. They are not very good parents in the sense yeah. that what they do is that they kind of buy Alberto, uh, they kind of buy Alberto's love and Got then they it. kind of just leave him accountable for himself. Yeah, I've, 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 I've seen his parents, I've been around his parents, they're very hands-off in the way that yeah. they kind of wash their hands with him. They're like, look, whatever the hell you do, you do, just as long as, you know, whatever, like, they don't care. Which, it's it's sad, but at the same time, yeah. it's like such a fucked up downward spiral. And the yeah. thing is that, I'm not sure if this is on your podcast or somebody else's, but I've heard that Alberto actually explained that he tried, like, telling his mother all about what happened, and his parents just flat out don't believe him whenever he tries to confess to the shit that he does. So his parents are essentially, like, they're kind of neighbors in a way, where they're trying their best to, like, cover up everything that he's done. Got it. That, that might have been a different one, because I know when he was on ours, I had asked him about, like, his his family and, like, what their response to all this stuff that he's doing and what's going on is, and he said they don't know most of it. So he might just be making up different stuff or saying different stuff on different podcasts. But I think, go back and listen. I think to an extent it might... He might just not be comfortable sharing. Like, I, I I'll yeah. believe him on the yeah. parents thing because that that would make kind of some, funny. some sense. But uh, we should probably talk about the Google document. Um, Ooh. if you guys were done and talk about that, which that one? Was... <laughs> yeah, I was gonna the, say the, there were a lot, but the first big one that, that you had made, I remember that was a couple of months back. Right? Take a quick yeah, yeah. I'll, so I'll be right back. Uh, like, what do you what do you need me to, to go through? Just like just summarize what happened, or yeah, yeah what the, the story, story. Um, like. Yeah, yeah, basically the story, because I had asked him about it in allegation, and I was like, let's just go through, and I'd ask him, like, what's true? And he pretty much admitted to every single thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. We want to go truth. through There's... Yeah. Oh, no, okay, well, we'll go through it, yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's all true. There's nothing to deny. Like, I don't... I would, like, it... there's no lies in this. I legitimately just, like, this... I mostly wrote this, honestly, because it's, like... I, 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 tr- like... I trusted him, he trusted me for the longest time, like we were friends for the longest time, I, I consoled him, like even after the I'm, re- I'm not racist stream, like mm-hmm. he was he was bleeding, like he, when he was punching the fucking door, like he was punching it and his hand was bleeding. I called the police on him, I was like, and I told him, I'm like, I'm concerned for your health, they're gonna take you to the hospital, and they were, he was like, keep saying, I, I, I just, I, it hurts, because I helped him so much, and what do I get repaid, what do I get repaid, this is what fucking, this is what, I get repaid and I get repaid in being fucking caressed on the subway, uh, wet Watched. socks, and yeah. So, yeah. Like, do you want me to like summarize what happened, like, uh, for yeah. like people who haven't read it? Sure, if you're comfortable with it, sure. Yeah, no, of course, I'm I'm fine. So yeah, the first instance was with the the subway. Uh, we were on our way back home from the subway, and uh, he started getting like really like grabby, but it wasn't that weird at first. Like he was like putting his arms around uh, like me, and he's like. He was like, oh, check out this meme, like, you know, but it was like really tight. It was a tight grip. And at first I was like, eh, whatever. But it, it was still very uncomfortable because it was just like, can you like lessen your grip? Like you have a fucking like, like a Kung Fu grip on my fucking like arm. Right. And so it was, uh, it was at first just that. And he kept pulling me in like, yo, check, check this out. And he's like pulling me in with this fucking strong grip. I had to like, it's like one of those grips that you can't just walk out of. I have to like shove myself out of or tell him like, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And like make him fuck off uh so i had to tell him i'm like dude you're making me really uncomfortable you're getting too grabby i want you to stop and he's like oh yeah all right um Back. then we sit down like on the, on the on the things on the oh i'm going through the dock right now. okay cool so we sit down on the sub like on the uh, on the the seats of the subway and he starts like grabby like he starts oh, like he starts he's next to me and he puts his arm around me and he starts like playing with my cheeks and like caressing me like nowhere and no like bad parts but like it was still like oh my my cheek my hair he was playing with my hair playing with my cheeks 
and he wouldn't stop. I kept telling him, I'm like, not? And he's like, oh, yeah. And then he'd go right back to it. And he wouldn't stop until a friend of mine who was there with him, he noticed, and he physically intervened by, uh, like, he, he had to physically intervene, tell him, like, piss off, because he was being creepy. Yeah, and then, exactly. he, you know, he stopped. Only once he got, not too physical, like, no one got punched. He just pushed him away, and he's like, keep the fuck off. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, that was the first case of anything happening. And for the most part, I, for I forgave him. It was still weird, but, like, for the most part, it was like, oh, okay, whatever. He was probably just being dumb. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm looking through this, because I need, I need a, you know, a uh, little refresher. A little refresher, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's oh, been yeah, a while yeah. since I've read it, too, so. The socks yeah. thing and Emily yeah, thing, too. The socks thing. socks thing was, um, yeah, basically, I was, we were in the mall, me him and another friend actually the same friend who physically like who was he was he was with us for a lot of the a lot of the, the the things a lot of things that happened and i was at hot topic and i was buying these like socks he's like you know, thigh high over knee socks okay. um and i was buying them and i was like you know whatever at the cashier uh we had a couple people it was me uh and two two me two friends and him and he walks up to me at the cashier and he's like oh yeah i hope you enjoy those socks it was like at first it was like friendly whatever it was like oh yeah cool like thanks thanks like you know i could make those socks wet for you i can't like and it was it was so uh, weird and at first yeah. it was fucking disgusting and at first what the fuck yeah it was so disgusting like he said it in that tone like the yeah he's like you know he was he said it very like sly and you very know. like shy like not like it wasn't <laughs> like it was a word. joke it was like it was like he was trying something and he's like you know i can make those socks wet and I'm just like, oh, and I turn around and I, I thought he's making a fucking stupid ass joke. Because even as a joke, I processed it in my head as not a very funny one. It was just, it, it was yeah. just stupid. So I turn around and I'm like, what do you mean? And like, if you're making a joke, you'll go like, oh no, I'm just fucking with you. I'm just goofing. I'm guy, you know, whatever. Yeah. But he like, he realized that, you know, oh shit, maybe being upfront and creepy doesn't work. I don't know what was going through his head, but he was just like, oh, um, and he's like stammering and he's like, oh, um, like I can dip them in water or something. And I'm like, take a nice that's wet exactly it. <laughs> I'm sure that's what you meant, buddy. It's yeah. It's just the, mostly the fact that like he didn't even go like, oh, I'm just goofing with you, whatever. It's the fact that he like he took a back and then came up with like the world's worst punchline. It was as, almost as bad as like a knock knock joke. It just shows like I think everybody knows what he. Meant. Yeah. But, you know. Um, all right, what else? Uh, yeah, oh, really yeah, yeah, Emily thing. Uh, for so a friend of ours, it was me, the same Emily, Emily from 2017, the one that they, yeah, did, that, that was the same one. Emily dated, yeah, yeah. Um, it was me, Emily, two other people, they weren't involved, they were just there, and um, yeah, yeah, so it was all of us, and we were like goofing around outside the mall, we were like giving each other piggyback rides, you know, we're, we're goofing, we're having a gag, we're having a time, whatever. And um, <laughs> it was his turn to give Emily one, and we're like, yo, 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 uh, let's see if you can carry Emily. And um, he does, and like, you know when you, 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 how you, when you give a piggyback ride, you're supposed to like support them on their like thigh? Mm -hmm. Like over yeah, your, over like your their, arm? Yeah, or like their calves, kind of? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. on their calves or over their thigh, and they're supposed to like kind of sit. And like, you know, that's that's how piggybacks are supposed to work. So he he um he like brings her up and is like starts like he, he's like grabs her ass, like on the ass, not the thigh, but the ass. And at first on. this is the thing. At first I was like, okay, look, that can happen. He's blindly trying to support her. It shit can happen. And he maybe may not have realized it. So I gave it a pass. And then it took like Emily going like, yo, you're grabbing my ass. Can you fucking let go of me? Like this is making me really uncomfortable. And straight up, instead of going, oh yeah, sorry, and like putting her down and whatever, he just like I know. Oh, just, dude. just. Hey, you're grabbing my. Yeah, I know, I know. And like, she had to physically like push him. Like, dude, get the fuck off me. Like, she had to physically get him off, so he he would stop roping. Man, that's so yeah. Sad. It's it's one thing to read it, but then to like kind of hear it broken down. Yeah. It's just like. Yeah. I don't. I don't get him, man. I don't understand people that defend him. I don't understand what he's doing. How many times he can fuck up and do this shit, and then expect people to feel sorry for him? Like that's fucked up. Yeah, seriously. I can't believe I was friends with him as long as I was. <laughs> it's just weird. Um, Pat, if we'd like to go to you now, how did you first like meet Alberto? Hear about Alberto? 
Okay, so I had like this um, my old meme page that I like abandoned before making this one. I like um I think I followed him at one point and then I like reposted one of his things and like added something because it was like a repost chain and I tagged him in it and then he like replied to it and it was kind of weird because I had like 100 followers uh -huh. and then I just started like following his page and that's basically how I I so, met like, him. Did you interact I never with him really, No, I never really talked to him. I just... asked him for like lucky. some things. At some point, like I asked him for that font he uses for the subway because <laughs> I thought it looked cool. Yeah, right. But that was you know, fun fact, I was the one who found the font for him because he asked me like, "Hey, you know how to pirate fonts?" Where I was like, "Yeah, sure." I, I gave it to him, and now like, he shares it around like fucking candy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Also, uh, we talked about this in the podcast once. Um, I find it super crazy that he has his own like podcast or whatever, and he had an episode with Tippity. And both of them have posted their yeah. like uh, themselves uh, nude yeah. online. Exposed. They both have. Yeah, they both exposed themselves online for no reason at all. And they and both like, left Instagram because of its toxicity. Yeah. Tiffany, uh, we and, get and it. You quotes. fuck Ramus butthole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In quotations, toxicity. Yeah. I don't like, get why he talks about how toxic Instagram is, and it's like compared to how toxic you are, Alberto, like, look at the stuff that you're doing or have done. Or even just, and like, to Twitter. Doing. He said Twitter was, like, the safest place on Earth for him, but it's, like... No, it's not. No. It's arguing. not. Twitter it's is arguing. awful. It can be, especially for people like Alberto. Yeah. <laughs> I just... I don't get it. I really you don't. Know, I do have a list of things Alberto has done, because I have, on my Instagram page, I have a whole story highlight dedicated to, like, the Alberto shit, and I yeah. have a whole list I posted on there. So, yeah. Uh, go you want me to go over it? No, through uh, it, absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know, I don't I'll, know. Yeah, we have time, go ahead. We have time, I it, guess. It, it, it's a small list, it's like, you know, yeah, basically summarizing it. Yeah, through it. Okay, okay. Just right, to so, refresh people that aren't caught up. So, I Alberto suppose. has... Lost Seal has multiple multiple friends, as already ex as explained. Basically, lost to multiple friends of mine IRL. Uh, specifically, when uh, <laughs> Asher and uh, Felix came across him at one point, uh, because they were like hanging out in town, and, like they hang out same out area that Alberto hangs out in, and they started singing Old McDonald. <laughs> yeah. And Alberto decided it was a good idea to throw a chair at them. What? That's like straight up. Dude. They dodged it thankfully, but Alberto straight up threw a fucking chair. Where was this? Like, where, like, it was, in a public it area? Or? It was a public area, yeah. I, wasn't it in the library? It was somewhere. It was somewhere. Oh, okay. I mean, that might have been a separate occasion in the library. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, he's tried uh, to say that I quote unquote doxed him just because, because this is when I was still friends with him. Uh, what he would do, and like everybody would always find out his username, but he would give out his username to like certain people. Mm hmm. Uh, for Instagram, and what it is, like, people would ask me, like, hey, what's Alberto's username? Because, like, they were friends with Alberto, so I would say, yeah. okay, Alberto will probably fi be fine with it. Here's his username. Uh, Alberto tried to, uh, expose me on his Discord server and on his Instagram that I quote-unquote doxed him. <laughs> yeah, just because I, I gave his username. Yeah, I don't yeah, understand when can... he says, like, you doxed me, you doxed me, just because yeah, you give out a username. Like, usernames he are... Doesn't get the he doesn't get yeah. the definition. I can verify that, too, because I've been following your account for a while now. And the only thing I've ever seen you post is like uh, regarding that is just his new usernames, not his like information, anything like that. It's just like he has a new yeah, Instagram. I didn't... This is the name of it. That's so it. So yeah. how did the um he he made a new account very recently? How did that get found out? Because it was like literally like sixteen followers. And was he... it an a Twitter one or or an Instagram Instagram one? one. I'm not hundred percent sure. See, what people will do is that because I have a lot of friends who are quote unquote friends with Alberto too, even though they're really just there to spy on him. And they would message me uh, his username. I was like, okay, thank you, thank Got you, it. and then I posted. Yeah. And bear in mind, I didn't tired. start posting it until after he started, like you know, after I exposed him. Mm -hmm. Up to that point, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll respect his privacy. You know, I will only give his username to like select a few people because you know they're friends with Alberto anyways. But then I decided, you know, fuck it, what do I have to lose? If he wants to say I, I dox him, then call me fucking Keemstar. <laughs> right. I, yeah, and, I, I just think he needs to get off of Instagram. Or if he gets onto Instagram, it's not that hard to just not tell people your username and sort of just go see, undercover. See, he would always freak out and then delete his, uh, his account and make a new one because he doesn't understand how uh, changing usernames work, I guess. <laughs> Right. So he would just think, oh, so people found my Instagram, guess I gotta delete it and make an entirely new one. He likes it, though. He clearly, like, enjoys, like, the, the whole thing it, a bit. or else he wouldn't keep coming Do that, back. but, and, and we'll exactly. keep going through the list, but that actually just reminded me of something Alberto did that, in my opinion, is 
is on the list for one of the most fucked up things he's done. It was when he was filming one of those like documentary little projects he does. Yeah. And I know there were some kids in his school that were supposed to film with him. And this is right around the Etika Etika passing away. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And what happened yeah. is he had just passed away, and it is obviously, yeah, and obviously his fans are in mourning, and so they were like. I know we had a thing set up, dude, but I can't come to record today because Etika just passed away and, like, I just need, like, a minute to process this. And he, like, instantly threatened them like he said he was going to stab them with a knife. Jesus. Because yeah. they because they didn't show up to come record his, with their camera equipment, record his whole thing. He said he was going to stab them with a knife. He posted that on Twitter, right? Or he yeah. them that. I think, I think the stabbing was a, uh, was a separate thing, but I do know, I actually have the exact tweet right here. He said, yeah, and I quote, he- I hope you're fucking happy because you left an opportunity of a lifetime all because of a man who committed suicide on the Manhattan Bridge. Thanks for wasting my time with you. Ain't nothing done, you asshole. That's so fucked up. Yeah, that is I, so that fucked is, up. It is. The stabbing thing was a separate one, which I, I will go over. Okay, I must have got that mixed up. Sorry. Yeah, it's all good. So then, uh, it, this is probably one of the, one of the fuckier things. He has a... Mul- How do I say this? Because I know I don't want to get demonetized, so I'll just say this. He pleasured himself in multiple discord calls with me and friends without our knowledge or consent and oh, i have yeah. multiple witnesses to back this up and whenever we would call him out he would say he has no shame yes. all right so last thing is uh he threatened the murder mass shooting and other other physical violence involving firearms and knives and uh along with this list i have a whole compilation of screenshots that i have like he would say things like uh and i quote if i wanted i'd go to your school and shut out and then shoot myself jesus that's I will stab you in the fucking throat in your school if you accuse me of racism again. Um, for real, man, I don't want to hang out with everyone down in Hamilton. They're all fucked with me long enough. And somebody said as a joke, I'm surprised he never got revenge. And he replied, if I get a gun, maybe I will. He's a, he's he said, I'd shoot him if I, got, if I got the chance. I swear to God, I'm going to drop a bomb in the city. I want to slit his fucking throat if he ever comes to Toronto or his friends up in Brampton. And uh, this is when... Uh, this is a separate occasion where somebody had to uh, dip from uh, helping him film something because of uh, their grandma was oh, dying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he said in all caps, and I quote, We were supposed to fucking film today, but your pussy ass grandma had to be fucking sick. Jesus Christ, man. Yes. So that's what I got mixed up, but that that's so yeah. fucked up. Yeah. I couldn't imagine someone being that self centered to where, like, oh my God, man. Yeah, like just pick another day to record. Like it's yeah, just be like, dude, I'm really fucking sorry that yeah. your grandma is uh, sick. Can I ask about the recording as well? Oh yeah, by all means. I yes. need to add that when we did go out to record, he was the least productive person on the fucking. I used like it was so bad. Like we would go and he would just be like, "Let's go to McDonald's, guys." And I'm like, we literally did no filming. He's like, "Oh, let's go to McDonald's." I, I can't really McDonald's. see him doing that. He'd get, like, I can fucking... totally. Like, just, like, harassing everyone to going and just <laughs> fucking the whole just day. Just fucking with them going to McDonald's the whole time. He did that all the time. Like, he, he, he would, like, we filmed so rarely. Most of the time was just him dicking around. And then, like, we'd so, go like, to McDonald's. What would you guys film? Because, like, I, I'm just not up to date with that sort of thing. Like, what would you guys... Yeah. So, you know about Grand Odyssey? Um, sounds familiar, yeah. He so takes a like... cappy hat and he throws it around. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it, it might as well. He <laughs> throws the cappy hat around. What the hell, dude? It you might go as to well McDonald's, be that. Go to McDonald's yeah. before you use to throw the cappy hat around. Bam! He give me three burger burgers! And then he throws it. But, um... So yeah, basically he was recording Grand Odyssey. It was like him going around, dicking around. The first episode is out. I don't know where you could probably find it if you do first some second digging. Episodes. Yeah, it's on awesome, uh, actually. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I didn't. Oh yeah, he didn't take that down. All right. Well. Um, he so yeah. Them, he reels to them. Okay. So basically, uh, I was there for Ward's Odyssey. That was the production I was working on with him, which is basically he was trying to add like a lore and a story behind Grand Odyssey. <laughs> Um, so he made Ward's Odyssey, and, um, that's what we worked on, but we got nothing done. Like, absolutely nothing. We went out, like, in the span of, like, a, like, the year that we knew each other, we went out... How many times did we go out? At least, like, 20 times. And then the amount of, like, ro- like recording we, we did is, like, 0.1% of that time was actually recording. Got it. Well, because, I mean, I'm sure he saw, like... I'm sure he was just wrapped up in like hanging out with 
his friends, but th 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 that's not a thing. You still gotta record. Yeah. You say you're gonna no, record. No, 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 I know, but it, it's it's one thing to be like that, but it's another thing to, like, be like that and then start blaming other people for yeah, that's. Yeah, I think, that's the, I think Absolutely. that's the bigger... Especially right? when he yells at people yeah. so harshly for not, like it's yeah. not going yeah. to record. Like, I think like that's it, the... It, it, mm -hmm. Sorry, I was in, like, television class for, like, two years, so, like, I get the whole filming process, but, like, the fact that he would just kind of, like, slack off and then blame yeah. other people, just, yeah, that's not, that. That's he really pissed me off. Uh, going back to the whole, um, thing when, uh, people were leaking his usernames, I don't know if you guys remember, like, the infamous, uh, live streams where he would, like, have, like, the Joker, uh, mask on. Yeah, <laughs> that's where, that, that, hey, that's where we were. were. Everybody yeah, that's... in those comment section, that was us, that was our fan. Yeah, yeah. we were, man. Follow and then he, he uh, live streamed our college one. Profile pick. Once. I was so proud of that. Yeah, Pat drew with that profile photo, the little art. Pat had drawn, drawn that and he stole it from him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, uh, one of the live streams was directed to be a quote unquote apology for um, people that he wronged. Um, and I would have, like, I wouldn't have accepted it, but I would have given him a little bit more leeway. If not, he didn't block me, so I couldn't see the live stream. <laughs> uh, so right. I, I couldn't even see my own apology. <laughs> Think about that. So what was the point then? Exactly. Do you? And then do, he... you should get another extra account to make like, if he ever yeah. were to come back, then I would say you should get like a sort of extra account that is not blocked and sort of go undercover as the, rather than give formulae, it's get formulae. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Yeah. See, That's and what then I did. when I called him out. Yeah. Oh, sorry. What were you saying? Uh, I was just saying that's what I did to go undercover. Is we have a guy in our podcast, Bingo Della uh, uh, Congo. So I had to make a new username. So he went five. So I made it Dingo Della Dongo. And he didn't even <laughs> notice it was me. And that was so funny. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty freaking, pretty freaking sweet. <laughs> so then um, I call him out on his Discord server, and then what he decided to do is uh, remember he quote unquote said that I doxed him by leaking his username. He can't even use the argument that that's bad anymore because then he tried leaking my personal Instagram account, which didn't affect me in the slightest because all I had to do was change the username. But he started yeah. leaking out mine as revenge after he really? apologized <laughs> for doing his dumbass. That's just dude. That's the most backward ass, ass shit that he's yeah. done. I have. I'm, I'm trying to think. I have like two more things off the top of my head. The first thing, just to light it up, I want to talk about by far the funniest alberto moments the funniest screenshot i've ever had it was during his uh the i'm not racist live stream <laughs> and there's the, the point where he when he was banging on his door and he's like scream and he's breathing heavily he stops for one second and he looks at the screen and there's a comment on the live stream from bruce <laughs> they laugh because they know what they're and i posted it 10 million times he reads it it's from bruce, <laughs> it's, it's from bruce wayne fan 53 and he and all he said was can we have sex <laughs> and he's breathing heavily and he's really just, <laughs> it, it's just um, it just looks in the in the photo i think what's so funny is he just looks so defeated as he looks <laughs> And he there's Bruce so Wayne disgusting. fan 53. I was like, dude, what? Uh, and then there was one when he was doing the live stream, but I had one that was so close where I just commented the words broccoli, and he stopped <laughs> and he looked at it and he read it, and he was like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> and I posted that on my story and I put broccoli by drama over it, and it was so funny. <laughs> broccoli by drama. Um, one other thing. Uh, let's talk about the sheep stuff. If, if... Oh, oh, boy. Oh, uh, is that a hot topic? Is that a hot topic? I Honestly, think... there's not really much to talk about because it's so unbelievably simple to explain. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think we just. I think we stick at. I think we stay out of that. In my opinion, in my opinion, there's, there's so many screenshots incriminating like uh, messages from that that I've seen. Exactly. It's like, dude. And people can find. See, I'll yeah. give you this much. See, on his how it worked is that on his old personal Instagrams. Uh, he would horny post on his close friend story where only certain people could see it. <laughs> and he would have straight up, like, post his kink list and everything, which I can go over it. It's really fucking no. disgusting, though. Nope, it's we're not. You know what? Nope, demonetizing that idea. Yeah. Wait yeah. Till and I, comes even out. if it wasn't demonetizing, I just don't want to listen to it, personally. It's, and I don't it's think up, dude. any it's viewers do. The only reason why up. I'm talking about it is because it's just pu he made it public, and yet he blames others for, like, yeah. you know. Right. Yeah. It, we don't have to talk about it, but it's uh, you. 
you posted like um some a lot of the screenshots that he has had See, with people yeah. so you can just yeah. find them on your account yeah, if, just if, if, if you're interested yeah, if you're with... interested in, in some good sheep stuff go ahead and check out <laughs> just just make fun of him, but the whole thing that's been happening with like him grooming underage people uh kind of go hand in hand with kink list absolutely that's why that's why i wanted to bring it that's why i just yeah. it up so we bring it to the table but i don't anything. think i also just think it's in poor taste Personally. okay yeah. yeah sure yeah the thing that i really want to talk about though is the fact that his mother has gotten involved what she would do yes, is she, I saw recently that. she would make ultimate accounts and she would be messaging like random people like for instance she tried messaging me trying to pretend to be a cop saying like can you give me all the information that you have on alberto we're doing an investigation <laughs> and i just kind of declined it because it was in such broken english i was clear that it was his mom <laughs> and we're all gonna I, get a dm from her she's gonna listen to the SBC podcast what, what, what if she listens yeah. to it she becomes a big fan and like she's she's our she number says, one I love the SBC podcast <laughs> I love the SBC <laughs> podcast so much she said ding dog fan 53 delete that broccoli comment right now <laughs> <laughs> no I can't uh, no drop. but yeah he she PM'd me, and then she PM'd Asher, uh, the person I mentioned uh, before, mm -hmm. uh, threatening him, saying, I know where you live, uh, please stop uh, harassing Alberto, he has autism, he doesn't know any better. And then she also PM'd my friend, uh, Razi. Now bear in mind, she also said that, oh, like, you know, everything out formula he's saying is fake, uh, he has autism, he can't help it. Razi, and this, I, I have no problem saying this too, both me and Razi have autism. That's just a fact, and I have no problem saying it out loud. Okay. So Razi would say, uh, I have autism too. It's like, oh, you do? Oh, I can't talk to you then. I can't talk to you because you know, because <laughs> then it kind of defeats her own per her own point. Absolutely. Yeah. If you can't. Like, and I, I get think it. I think I I, I get it, but he, you can't use that as an excuse to do messed up stuff. You yeah. Know? And I think I think exactly. um, yeah, autism is a spectrum, and it's very, it's very, it's very different in different people. Um, he seems to know better than to yeah. do these things and he knows yeah. he knows he's doing wrong things he's self-aware yeah, yeah yeah absolutely and while i think a couple of these things are like he's not intentionally trying to be a bad guy he's not trying to fix what he's doing either and i think that's really what it comes down to is you just gotta the moral yeah, of this exactly. alberto story is you gotta be more aware of what you're doing of the surroundings around you. Exactly. you know what I'm saying? Who's yeah, eating chips? Ding dong, put those oh. chips away. What chips? I'm just walking back and forth in my room, facing the. I heard what those you... chips. I heard them crinkling. They were I like, had no chips. It was my. It was the. Big? Look, now nah, it's the. It's the hangers on my coat rack in my room. Oh, my I was room. gonna say, like, do you live in a chip bag? Like, what? No, I'm on. I'm <laughs> chip on, cave. I'm on. I'm actually on vacation right now. I'm in. Uh, I'm at a beach. A uh, beach house. Ooh, oh yeah. Nice. nice. Night. Yeah, it's my first vacation, really. I'm enjoying it. That's awesome. Oh, I'm fucking enjoying it, my guy. Yeah. I'm trying. <laughs> Today's my last day. I go back home tomorrow. Uh, yeah, you oh, missed sick. SRA at the PetSmart, right? I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we missed that. I work at, I work at uh, PetSmart, so SRA had posted that at uh, PetSmart, and I was like, oh my god, you didn't come see me? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I babe. Okay, okay. I want to get SRA in the podcast. It'd be so cool. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be um, so awkward. That'd be that so be awesome, funny. I think you mean. Yeah, exactly. Um, I do have Netflix two stuff. like two questions for like for Ariane for Formioli. Like the first one is, what do you think a just like punishment would be for Alberto for his actions? At this point, I, mm -hmm. I think it's kind of exceeded the point where like, you know, we can make him change. I kind of just want to see him behind bars, to be honest, because at this point he's self-aware that he's engaging in shit with minors. The and chair. he doesn't care. He doesn't care at all. So I just want to see him at least get somewhat, some form of legal punishment. I think whether that, it be seized electronics that's... or what. I used to think like he's fucking like mentally, you know, to the point where like he needs like you know those people that like follow you around and like make sure you know like an you aid. Know, you know those people? Yeah, I, I, not really a maid, but you know those people. Not like, maid, a maid. Were... A what? An aid. It's an aid. An aid. Okay. Oh, an exactly. aid. Yeah. I used to think he needs one of those because he can't make decisions without just doing the dumbest thing and doing the worst possible things you can do. But now that like a lot of new, very incriminating and fucked up things have come to light, I sincerely agree with Give Formula. I think jail is just honestly, a, it's just. It's gotten it's, to the point. It's so fucking like illegal what he's doing. It's not even just him being 
dumb. It's him being a criminal. Exactly. Okay. Sorry, I keep interrupting, but it's gotten to a point where even Mike Pogo, who used to be like his, an, his he was best his, friend, even yeah, he's like not on his side anymore. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen his post because I remember Mike Pogo was one of those guys that like we were kind of mutuals. Yeah. And he would always defend Alberto, and I was one of those guys that was just like, "Nah, dude, this guy kind of sucks." And he was always had his back, and even he had to come out and say, like, you know what? I'm done with the Alberto thing. I'm disowning it because I can't condone this any longer. Yeah. Whatever he's doing, I'm not good a part of this anymore. Good on him. And yeah. yeah, it is good on him. And the next thing I was going to ask you guys is if Alberto were to make some crazy like change in his life, I know he says he's going to do it a million times. What do you think he would literally have to do to like not fix what he's done, but to prevent like any further like incidents like this? Like, do you think it's possible Get for him to ever be? Able I feel to like it's only possible if he lets, if he accepts help. For instance. I th going back to like the whole you know, legal punishment thing, I feel like if he were to get his electronic seized, that would not only just to investigate like the, the explosive foes of minors, but just to get him off the internet. I think yeah. I feel like he shouldn't have any access to uh, to any yeah. social media, and I also think that he needs to seek some mental help because he claims that he goes to therapy, but at this point it's become such a rare occurrence where I think he just needs to be uh, committed to a mental home. I exactly. I agree. 100%. I think I think he definitely needs help, and I think he needs to get off the internet at least for now until he. Cause it's just, I. I don't know. I think Alberto is not an evil person. I think on that, you know, that little scale of the nine things. I don't think he's chaotic evil. I think he's more of just like a. I don't even know. I agree. But he's not. Uh, he's not. On one hand, I think that he is kind of a garbage person inside and out on the other hand when i say like i hate him like i want hit a night i lose i sorry I, I try and put words together when i say that i've lost all hope for him i really want him to prove me wrong on that i mm -hmm. really want him to prove me wrong when i say that i don't think he can change because because yeah, if he changes and he actually exceeds my expectations then there will be no more shit at the expense of anybody innocent there will be no more, you know, <laughs> no, but no one else will be groomed underage, shit like that. Right. They'll be harassed, and he won't be causing any more ruckuses. Like I, yeah, like I think he's a criminal. I, I, but like, and I, I, you know, like I agree with like what he's doing. Is, it's not even fucked up. It's illegal to. Him. But at the same time, I would like to see him surprise me. I would like to see him surprise everyone because like everybody like, would, yeah. I would love okay. to see that. But really, what really sickens me though is the fact that I know that no matter what he does, there's always going to be people who support him. If you go on his yeah. Discord server, for instance, you'll see plenty of people who still support him. If you go in the comment section of his videos, people are supporting him, being upset that like you know people are trying to quote unquote cancel him, even though it, it's not even canceling at this point because you're taking shit out of context. While we have evidence upon evidence of him doing so much scummy shit that that has been documented over the years by me and multiple friends. It can't be considered cancel culture because he's had so many opportunities to change and he hasn't taken one opportunity. Yeah, yeah and I think, right. personally, I think this is not, it's not even in, in it cancelable. It's not even cancelable at this point. It's almost like It's a like witch trying to cancel a mur like a murderer. It's like, <laughs> so yeah, much like, like, it's like, like a witch hunt, cancel. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, just, like, treat them with the extent of the law. Like, that's not cancelling, that's just, like, just being a lawful citizen that's just that like it doesn't make sense where's like, sky jackson when we need her <laughs> yeah like it goes <laughs> beyond the point of can it goes beyond the point of cancel culture like oh he has a different opinion to me like no he is legit like committing like criminal activity and like it's really fucked up and i think that's where the uh that's where the that's where the line crosses for me like i think that's yeah I do have one small little story I can tell. Uh, I don't want to, obviously I'm not gonna name names, but there was this one female friend who I had who, do you guys remember back when uh, fan signs were a thing for meme pages where girls would like, yes. you know, like, oh, you know, yeah. be posting like basically like nudes, but like, you know, they would write the username somewhere like, you know, their butt cheek or like their cleavage or something. Mm -hmm. I had a friend who did it for the memes for me. So I posted it and straight up, and Alberto didn't know who this person was. And he straight up admitted to the person, you know, I, I jerked off to that photo of you, right? Oh, that's the oh, worst. Christ, that's awful. Oh. Pe Alberto. People, okay, okay, not even just for Alberto. For Fair mind, person was 14 at the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoa, Alberto, whoa now. Yeah, if you that's are fuck. a, if you are of male or female, honestly. Now. Don't, 
Yeah, it, it, you can't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't admit to that. Yeah, just Careful. as a, just as a general thing for anyone yeah. listening to this podcast, don't fucking do that. Also, I don't yeah. condone like sending photos under age under age capacity. <laughs> the like. Who would? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's the thing, though, is that like it goes beyond that what he's done now because he's literally posting yeah when you people's start... like things uh and they're uh, well they're um their photos and they're underage and he like completely didn't get any like permission most likely or anything just posted right on twitter yeah, it doesn't like, even matter that he if he got permission or not that's just illegal exactly point in point out well Pat, i have been any... uh, no fight i believe actually they have yeah, okay. my friend, uh, who I won't at name once again, but they actually did send an anonymous tip to the FBI. So multiple levels of authority are now involved in the situation. Okay. You'll have to keep me up to date on that and, like, anything Hello. you have now. Um, Pat, do you have anything you'd like to, like, add as far as, like... No, not really. Here? I never really interacted with them. I just kind of watched. Yeah. You're so lucky. You're so lucky. You are. You lucked out on that one, Pat. It's like Definitely. looking at, like, a monkey in the... <laughs> And you're so just like, oh, you're observing him. You're yeah. just like, oh wow. Well, you know, every time I think that I pulled everything. Do next. Every... Sorry, I keep interrupting. <laughs> no, uh, every time I think that I've said everything I could, I remember another thing Alberto's done. You guys know about the whole I'm not racist dream. Like, you know, he went on because yes. people like thought that people kept calling him racist, even though it was clearly a joke. Yeah, they're like, oh, the CEO of racism. Like, it's like a meme. It's yeah. a joke. Yeah. See, that. the whole context of the, of the situation was that uh, there are some trolls who made racist memes to put Alberto's watermark on it, and it was clearly not Alberto who was making it, but people just went along with joking, like, haha, you're racist. And Alberto was com- would be complaining to me, multiple friends in a, in a voice chat, and I was telling yeah, Alberto, do not give him any, don't give him any reactions. They, they don't actually think you're racist. It's all just a joke. And then he would say, okay, I understand. Next thing you know, the next day, uh, I get notification that he's live streaming, and then he, apparently he ignored everything I said, and then he... And then yeah. the rest <laughs> is history, yeah. Yeah, I remember that call. It was, I was in that call, I'm pretty sure, too, and I told him very, very clearly, don't give them a reaction. Give them a reaction. Want. What did he do? The rest Dude, is right. history. He, the rest that's is history. history. Yeah. Everybody's got it. That's a, that's a big one. Um, and what, what I find ironic about that situation is that not even like a little while ago when he, he came back to Instagram and he did like the clown like live streams, there were plenty of screenshots and I've seen you post a bunch of them of him actually like saying racist shit. So it's like, oh, dude, yeah. like, like, come on, man. It's funny because it actually got to the point where people wrote him enough that he actually said some racist shit. See, Alberto thinks that being that not being racist means hating white people. <laughs> Like, That's yeah. his have ideology. You seen, have you seen the screen uh, of the screenshots of? I don't know what the context too much is, but someone like confronted him and he was basically saying, "I'm not racist. I fucking hate white people." That's not what that means. <laughs> I'll work with women like much. women. Yeah. And he also know. said. He also said. He also said, "I'm not. I'm not racist. I, I'm. I'm not homophobic. I. My last girlfriend had a dick. You bigot. I remember <laughs> him saying like, that. What? Yeah, that. What does it have to do with anything? He's just... Uh, he's a... He's a game dude. So he is racist. He is so rude. He hates white people. And all that is out in the public for people to see. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well... Wow. Well, I, I just want to say, first off, is that I appreciate you guys coming out and doing this. I know, like, yeah. a lot of, like, the guys in the SBC, and I know Sriracha was kind of, like... I know you kind of like weren't the most comfortable doing this. We don't like we don't like drama. We don't like confrontation. Yeah. But I felt like we had a social obligation, like to just like I put a stop to this shit, mm-hmm. or do our best, you know, and all work together. Because I I just think it's insanely fucked up that this stuff hit so close to home. Like this is somebody in the Instagram community that people have been following, and I've been saying this stuff, you know, for like almost two years now. Yeah. Not two, like it's been about maybe like a, a almost two, like, like a year and a half. Um. And like it's, I just think it's insanely important to get this out there. So we super appreciate you both coming out and like talking about this. Yeah, I hate, I hate drama so much, but I always have to get involved with Alberto stuff because somehow you're, like you're every time like Alberto, the Alberto does Alberto Avenger almost like yeah, we kind of are honestly like he's like the forefront of like everything that happens with him. Yeah. 
yeah. it's tiring, but at the same time, I know, like, I'm kind of obligated to, like, speak yeah. out whenever Alberto does something that's, like, stupid. Because it's gotten to a point where it's exceeded stupid levels and started to reach illegal levels. Yeah, exactly. that's just where... That's and that's why I felt like... I felt like that's why we had to do this the episode, you know? It's mm -hmm. like... I don't, we just, we, we have to, you know, work together and, like, keep this and just get rid of this shit and stop this because nobody else is going to do it, you know? Yeah. So. And I appreciate you, Sriracha, for, like, sticking through. And I just want to say I appreciate everything you do for the SBC podcast because it wouldn't be what it is without you, buddy. You're, like, the soul of it. I appreciate that you. very much. Thank you very much. I mean that, too. I mean that, too. We love you, dude. Yeah. We, all right, this will probably be cut no. right here, and then, um... Oh, well, I want to say one more thing really, with Pat, too. Well, Pat, like, really Pat, quickly, we love you too. we've yeah. been, um, recording for, like, 57 minutes, so if we wanted to, we could keep recording and just not talk about Alberto stuff, but if we want to keep yeah, this, we the Alberto Yeah, we could just talk about funny, yeah, we could talk about, like, funny shit if you guys... Shake your peanut! Shake <laughs> <laughs> your peanut, I love that video. <laughs> <laughs> no, when, when Ronan said that, here, I'm gonna, uh, what I'm gonna have to do, Sriracha, is play that clip. He just said a clip from the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, and it was with me, and they, they were I've saying, known about that clip ever. <laughs> I think that was Roast, I, I, was, I think it was, was Roast Fellow, because uh, Roast Fellow kept trying to, shout out to my boy Roast Fellow, Roast Fellow kept trying to get us to talk about it on the podcast, like, anytime we were talking, anytime we were about to, um, and, then, and I was, like, was sitting upstairs in the, in the, in the beach house, and he sent that video to me, and it was just a clip of the, of the song in the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, and Goofy was like, shake, 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 shake your peanut, and I was like, just sitting there trying not to laugh, and I was like, I'm such a moron, I'm such an idiot that I'm literally laughing at cartoon for no reason. Yeah, and I think, I think the, um, I think the, the funny appeal is that, like, you, there's no, like, you can't tell what's exactly funny about it, but it's just really funny, and it sort of it's sounds so out like, of context. Yeah, I'm just, so I'm sort of, like, trying, I'm looking through my head, I'm like, why do I find this funny? Is it because, like, when they sound, when they say shake your peanut, it sounds kind of like shake your penis? Like, is that what it is? Or, like, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to lock, I'm unlock it in my mind. I remember that episode, because, like, yeah, me too. Yeah. I had, like, a DVD that has, like, all those episodes. I used to watch it, like, <laughs> religiously. That's awesome. So I, like, vividly... I'm gonna send it to the episode. Discord chat for you guys. So That's you the lore know. master. Yeah, watch the Shake Your Peanut video. We'll reenact it. That'll be... That'll be... <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna uh, rejoin the, the call just so I can switch my phone real quick. Okay, I just said... What is this? Good quality. Good quality. <laughs> good quality. <laughs> <This> quality. <laughs> good quality. Good quality. Don't worry, guys. I swear it's a good quality. Let me, let me, let me, let me oh fact check that. Let's make sure it is in good quality. Hold on. Has to be in 4K. <laughs> yeah. It only goes to 720p, so is that in good quality? 720 peanuts. <laughs> that, rem that reminds me of the... That reminds me of the Ribena video. Like, uh, when it, it, it was, hold on, let me look that up. Yeah, it was, there was, there was funny Ribena, Ribena advert and stupid Ribena advert. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> stupid <laughs> idiotic Ribena advert. Yeah, he did stupid Ribena advert. Like, he didn't have to add that. Yeah. I don't need to hear that. I like that it's like the duality of man almost. Yeah, I posted that. I posted a photo of them side by side. It's like the duality of man. You have funny Ribena advert, and you have stupid Ribena advert. Yeah. Society! Society Fine. doesn't. <laughs> Society doesn't want you to know about Shake Your Peanut. They don't. We should. <laughs> we should. Just trying to cover it up. <laughs> they're trying to. They're trying to put on the Joker filter and and uh, quote Yo Quan Peanut. <laughs> you know what? I might not be able to um, play the Shake Your Peanut audio because, like, when I tried to play the Grumpy Old Troll audio, that got copyrighted. So I'm wondering if this would be copyrighted as well. Okay, so put put a funny effect on it. Like, <laughs> just filter it. <laughs> We have to dub over it. <laughs> dub yeah, we'll dub over it. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna wait for uh, for Bioli to get back, and then we're all gonna dub over it. Okay. Dub over. Wait, what are we dubbing? Over? We're dubbing over Shake Your Peanut. I am so confused. I just watched it, and I felt oh. like I just entered the Twilight Zone. I'm so confused. What is going on? What are you confused about? Mickey Mouse gave you a peanut, episode. and he said, "Shake, shake, shake your peanut." That's what I <laughs> there's some. There's so a off. there's an ear. Listen, there's an ear rape version of it. <laughs> How There's popular is this so clip? Oh, putting about it. It looks like an SCP, like one of those SCP like videos. Like, this <laughs> is so off putting. I know. Shake your That's peanut. Have do. you guys ever been on Petite Tube? Um, 
It sounds. Dude, me and Julian went on that the other day, and it was so funny because all they do is they'll play you videos that only have like less than like five views, I think. Yeah. And it's so terrifying because you'll watch like most of them are car tutorials, like on car parts. Yeah. And then you get like videos from like uh, India and like the Middle East. Many, it's so weird. Mm -hmm. It's so terrifying. You don't know what you're gonna find on. Yeah, I often, I often uh, watch videos with Bingo or Wishful. Um, and so, like, uh, sometimes we'll go on there and just see what we can see. And like, there were some really weird ones. Like, there was one that was like a security cam footage, and like, yeah, it was just weird. Okay, shake your peanut. That's what I was gonna look up. All right, it goes. Shake your sillies out. I remember that song. Y'all remember Shake Your Sillies Out? Shake Your Sillies Out. I don't. He goes, here you go. Take the peanut. He really looks at me. Grab the peanut. Grab it. Oh my god, this has 3 million views. Dude, there's a Roblox Shake Your Peanut. Ready to shake your peanut. Ready to shake, shake, shake your peanut. Gotcha life, shake your peanut. Yeah, I see like a gotcha life one. It's like 800 terrifying. views. I gotta make sure yeah, I see watch it. You did. <laughs> you gotta watch it so real quick. Get picked up. Wait, is there actually? What are we talking about? We're talking about shaking. Talking about... All right, ready? Is everyone ready to shake their peanut? Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, let's go, guys. Woo! Are ready? Here you go. Grab the peanut. Ready? Grab the peanut. Shake, shake, shake your peanut. Shake, 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 shake your peanut. Shake. shake. Baby shake, elephant, shake, come baby. down the tree. <laughs> shake, shake, shake your peanut. Shake, 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 shake your elephant, elephant peanut. Come home, <laughs> come home with me. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they I don't like that Goofy elephant? is saying that to that <laughs> elephant. What are you trying to do, Goofy? Come on now. <laughs> Goofy's We're tall enough, he can reach the elephant. the elephant. Why don't they just pull him down? Yeah, pull that motherfucker down. He's too heavy. <laughs> No, he's Stop not. He's they've elephant. got three. They got three. They've got three animals there, and Goofy's I'm tall. Gonna, Goofy's gonna tall. look up enough. how much a baby elephant. <laughs> All right, well, I'll I'll look up. Look, he just jumps down and crushes Donald. He flattens That's Donald for the rest of the episode. And there's there's. I want to see that video. I want to see pounds. I want to see that video that guy did where he's like the security system takes control of Squidward's house. Oh, where he's like. <laughs> I know that. I know that video. A baby he's elephant weighs two hundred pounds. Post that? Yeah, I did. Where Squidward's like he's talking about like, oh, yeah. Squidward torture, torture episodes. I want to see that guy go like the elephant falls down on Donald, crushes <laughs> him after he takes his feet. Oh my god! I'm so tired of the new uh, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse episodes. They torture Donald constantly. <laughs> he was shaking his peanut. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Free my man's Donald. He didn't do anything wrong. He was just shaking his peanut. Did no, you honestly, know? he got he got what he fucking deserved because when I was playing Kingdom Hearts, he didn't heal me. Yeah, that's what you get done. <laughs> Dude, right, I, go, I go ahead, he shook his peanut to heal you. <laughs> oh, you yeah, what would you what would you do if he shook his peanut for our sin? What if he what, did do that? Ding dong! What would you do if um when you when you were playing Kingdom Hearts and uh, you asked Donald to heal you, Donald went shake, 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 and he pulled out. He, he was like shake, shake, shake. That's how he sounds, and he shook his. Yeah, peanut. and he gives you a peanut, and he heals you, and Sora eats it. He goes, mm, yummy. <laughs> what happened? To no. Where's the what? Th um. So on our. Uh, on our uh, little channel, I do. I've Just done a say couple you lost announcements. The footage. No, I haven't. Yeah. Um. And so I thought I lost the first one, which is I didn't. <laughs> Where it's like, it basically it says we just got one new subscriber, and then it's the like happy face, and it's like thank you everyone. Sorry, I have three new episodes ready, but my finger painting class has been going late, past 8 p.m. My bedtime. Oh. And also, I have a blind left eye. LOL, XD, can we shoot for 134,000 subscribers? And then I just put a um, Wikipedia article for, like, just copy and pasted the Wikipedia article for Donald Duck. And, uh. Um, <laughs> Powerful. Yeah. That's a good time. Powerful stuff. I'm so glad you did that for us. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh. Um, I will say one thing about the first Kingdom Hearts game is that Goofy is one of the all-time greatest party members in any game ever made. If you level oh. that mother, if you level that motherfucker up and you go into settings, you can switch switch him to attack mode and he'll kill like any enemy in two hits. <laughs> it's, it's, the most scary. it's like Shaggy scary. Ultra Instinct. <laughs> yeah, he literally has this funny little smile and it's, it's these smashing heartless in two hits. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, yuck. 
Um, you're like, Jesus Christ, the funny, goofy dude. sound. The funny, goofy sound. What's your guys' opinion on the new Nintendo Switch um, Kingdom Hearts rhythm game? That's the I'm only Kingdom Hearts it. thing to come to the Switch. I'm fine with it. I really don't give. I love rhythm games. I really don't give a shit. We've seen worse in Kingdom Hearts. The fandom has seen worse. <laughs> trust me. I, mean, I, I don't know anything about like Nintendo stuff. I, I wouldn't give it a. I mean, is there show. actually a, a Kingdom Hearts rhythm game? Is that a? Yeah, yeah it's, it's coming it's, out on Switch. It's called the the, the medieval memories, and oh, uh, it'll feature so Donald. Thing... Kingdom Hearts Osu. I can't believe it. Kingdom the Hearts. only thing that I don't like about it is that they're actually. Trying to make it lore friendly. They're actually trying to pretend that it's a part of the lore. Like you have to play oh, yeah. the game to understand. <laughs> but you have to oh. play this to understand. They should the put story. the um the shake your peanut song. In. <laughs> so you have to play the rhythm game for that. <laughs> That's an integral part of the lore. The you get your Joy Con and you, you have to shake your Joy Con. Shake, shake, shake your Joy Con. Shake, shake, shake <laughs> Um, <laughs> sheeple, you're all sheeple, all of you. All of you. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Alberto will like that. He will, he'll say, who is sheep? Yummy. Oh has, my god. Has, like... Alberto's gonna become everybody's shepherd. <laughs> oh, yuck. Imagine him with his beautiful name. Thank you so much for that comment. <laughs> dystopian society. That's one of those oh, dystopian all, novels. all his sheeps. <laughs> that's... That sounds like an it's awesome 1987 novel. in real life. I can't believe it. <laughs> right. Wait, is it the book 1984? Oh, uh, it's the I, 1984, I think. Yeah, it's is it 1984? 1984. Oh, whatever. Yeah. I was three years off. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just three whole years. Close enough. Three whole years, man. No, no. It's, it, it's it, the did you know that book it's the was actually it takes, like, three years after? Did you know no. um, that book was written um in 1983? What were they thinking? Cancel. <laughs> Freaking cancel. <laughs> what? Yeah. This isn't accurate. This is what you're all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That all happened in 1984. Imagine someone in like the far future finds a copy of 1984, and they think it's like an accurate history book. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 1984 was just a hellscape, and then it just all went back to normal. Yeah. After that year, it was fine. Maybe Could it's you just like. That I... Do you imagine a hundred years somebody listens to an episode of our podcast? That'd be really terrifying. Because yeah, who knows how much knowledge of humans they'll have, and then they'll just hear, Shake, shake, shake your peanut! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is funny. In 20 years, we're gonna have cars. Dude, you know what I just realized? Like, what if we what if we figure out that there's, like, a s distinct, a distinct end of the world here? And so, you know how we went from BC to now? BC was like yeah. before Christ was counting down. What if we do that again, and we just like let's say it started here, 2020, and it's gonna happen whenever. So then we would start counting down. It's gonna happen in 2020 years. Never mind this stupid. This was stupid uh, hypothetical. I didn't think it through all the way. Yeah. But like yeah, I mean that's bad hypothetical. That, We're all done anyways. Living would just be a time bomb at that point. Like New Year's would be like like a time of grieving. Just yeah. yeah. <laughs> like fucking right. explode. I was just trying to make a make a point to say that 1984 could still happen in 1984 if it went backwards, but like, yeah, <laughs> that would be a hellscape. Like knowing knowing your own demise is coming at that point. Like, even if it's that far off, I think even if it was like a thousand years in the future. There, like, there, look, it sucks, but there are worse things. I think I'm not. Oh man, I don't want to get super serious. No, no, no. Anyway, um, it's better to know like when you're gonna pass. As opposed to not knowing and it just happened randomly. I can at least say that, you know? Yeah. I feel like that's, yeah. a, that's a, think, little, a little bit better. I think that's valid. But I think it would also be just like a, a detriment to society because people would be like, we know it's going to burn in a thousand years. Why do? We, why are we keeping it with advanced technology and stuff like that? I like, feel like people would definitely live their lives more fully. If they knew. When did I hop on the Joe Rogan podcast? What the fuck yeah, is going exactly. on? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, wait, Joe Rogan was the... Uh, guest for next episode sorry guys yeah we're actually oh. at Joe Rogan yeah he's along with Adam his, Levine his, his, his. I thought about Seth Rogan for so much yes he's gonna, yeah Seth Rogan will come out and go he'll go <laughs> and Ad, Adam Levine will come on he's like what what's this bullshit and then he'll get canceled for the ones that we got <laughs> <laughs> um not to get like super serious but Pat I just want to tell you that Everyone in the SBC freaking loves you, and we're so grateful for you being a part of this. We freaking love you, dude. 
idea. Like, is this you begging me to make more uh, thumbnails? No, no I'm. I'm. Ha <laughs> if, if it's too gentle, for you, I don't need you to make more thumbnails. I'm yeah. just glad that you, you were a part of this and that you like were a huge detrimental part of this and helped us so much yeah. with everything. I mean, it would have. Well, we wouldn't have. We wouldn't have had the same momentum and stuff like that if we didn't have your base thumbnails to keep driving us forward to be like the ground. Yeah, am I? Am I cloud? Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, would you like 100 mm. followers? Yeah. Yeah, you beat Big Chungles. Yeah. Woo! Oh yeah, I beat Big Chungles. Finally, fuck. <laughs> I like Big Chungles. I, I like Big like Chungles too. Steak. I just don't like salad steak. Yeah. <laughs> I like Big Chungles. We should have a Big Chungles admin one time. Do you remember when the Big Chungles tried to do a podcast and it was kind of funny, but then they never made an episode again? I don't remember that now. Yeah. I still have to go on. I, does Polio have his own podcast or no? No, Polio just has a show. He has his no. show. Yeah, but Sergeant Vanny wants me on his podcast, and I was yeah, like, I, I want think you we to should have Sergeant. Too. I think he, me he and Sarge, have me and yeah, me and Vanny like we we argue. Well, we don't argue a lot. We just disagree on a lot of the stuff, and so we'll get in like debates. But we're like really good friends, and we constantly are like, dude, I want you like on my podcast, and we'll like just switch off. I think it'd be a just, good time. Just just have him. Uh, just have him join the SBC conglomerate. <laughs> Oh yeah, Absolutely. so uh, viewers, we are now a conglomerate uh, network, so um, yeah, if you want to join the epic network, let me know. Leave a like, leave a comment, yeah, can I join? maybe subscribe. Leave a like. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you are <laughs> legally obliged to leave a like. Yeah, to like and subscribe, take a swig of the <laughs> subscribe button. Do 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 subscribe! Oh no. <laughs> Hello once again. Hello once again, audience. I, I think really quickly, um, before we wrap this up, I think it's interesting to mention like how many just sort of podcasts, especially within the Instagram meme community, popped up in such a short amount of time because of the quarantine, I think. Like with the <laughs> with the fan oh, look, fifty three podcast. That uh <laughs> and the the Psycast and like Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's it's we we're yeah, doing. Yeah, we get it. They're taking our clout. They're stealing our idea. We get it. Okay. Yeah, we get it. The Fan Fifty Three podcast, kind of unbased, <laughs> but no. Uh, everyone go. The Fan Fifty Three <laughs> podcast will be based when they invite me on. That's yeah. I think yeah. Triple H Fan Fifty yeah. Three is on that, right? I yeah. God. I that... talk to him still. I don't talk to many Fan Fifty Threes anymore. Well, that's not. It wasn't even real. like the. the a lot All of the, the Fan Fifty Threes hate me because I'm popular. <laughs> they don't like me anymore than they like you, Pat. Trust me, I don't really get like talked to that much anymore. It's sad. Ding Dong, I forgot you were a fan 53 just because I always call you Ding Dong. I know. <laughs> I forgot to. He's the worry. real Ding Dong now. Yeah. I guess so, because the, the real evolved. one uh, is evolved. Yeah, I miss him. Yeah, but I've had good. enough time. I've had enough time to process it that he's leaving, and it's fine. I'm ha I'm just happy for the times that we did had. The reason why I picked Ding Dong Fan 53 is because. There was such a long amount of time when I was just the only thing I did was work, eat, sleep, and watch Oni plays, and then obviously shower. But that's it. Like, because yeah. I worked so much, I didn't have time. They would upload twice a day, so I'd have two, 20 minutes to just lie in bed and watch Oni plays. Which is really And it was awesome. the only time. It was the only time of day I ever laughed, and it kind of made me yeah. happy. What was your um? What was your favorite series that you can name, or like your favorite couple of series? Wow, <sighs> there's so many. Shenmue is one of the best ones. But if I had to pick the best one, Kingdom Hearts 2 is so amazing because it's just my favorite in the series, and it's so fun. it's one of my all-time favorite games, and they were just so funny on that one. So Got Kingdom it. Hearts 2, and that is was one like of them. that was their sending away game. Right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, pretty much. Um, there's a bunch. So Shenmue was good. Yeah, I remember. Uh, um, it was a short one, but Mario Artist was pretty funny. That was very funny. It was yes. just like them drawing around, and that was goofy. Um, I like the um, Doodle dudes. Oh yeah, the, the Inspector Gadget one for that is really funny. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that one. Brown bricks in Minecraft. <laughs> brown bricks. Brown bricks in Minecraft. Brown, brown, brown bricks in Minecraft. Okay. That is the most fun you can have. Yeah, but we definitely we definitely draw a lot of inspiration from like just Sleepy Cabin and Tony Plays and stuff like that. Absolutely. Like, but we're They're starting funny. to get our own identity, which I think is neat. It is. Now this sure is episode is. probably going to be 12. So like, um, and for people listening who are in this recording right now, we are in a backlog. And if the number says something different when you're watching the episode, and it says something different. I don't care. I don't what, care. The numbers, Mason. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Before we we end, do you guys have anything you'd like to say or anything you'd like to plug or add? 
anything you'd like. I make fun of my Twitter at the beginning. Not really. Pee poop pasta. Mm. I'm saying. Pat, Pat, I feel like you should probably say something, Pat. I just want to hear you talk. Yeah. I don't have anything to say though. Pat, That's say a pay, say an inspirational speech to send us <laughs> say off. Say something funny. Yeah, say a speech and then tag your little big planet level. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> you still haven't beat that level. I can't God. beat it, dude. It's too fucking difficult. I know. That's the whole point. It's supposed to be hard. Based big planet. You can't beat it. Pat got offended when I said that. Oh, you know what? It's actually kind of fair. Pat was like, what? He got so mad. I turned bright red. Yeah. <laughs> He's been ripping out your hair out of your head. He inflated to the size of a balloon. Alright, Pat, give us an inspirational speech. I, I don't know. Just Follow my Pat. Instagram for a good, wholesome life. A good, mm. wholesome chungus. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Eat your That's vegetables. Alright. Thank you, Pat. Um, let's say goodbye to all the other people. Um, give Farzley, you wanna say something? You're just gonna see me fucking stoned. Like, just making hop, not hop, I guess, fucking Lunchables while stoned off my ass for the last, like... Yeah, but which, yes. but which Lunchables? Which Lunchables, That's yeah, Oh, that's I the fucking question. cooked up, like, the pizza ones, man. Oh. Like, I put the microwave and shit. <laughs> oh, dude, the turkey, the turkey ones are so, the best, though. Oh, 100%, dude. You're so far away. Okay, um... Addy, you wanna say something? Me? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, no, I plugged everything I needed in the beginning. Alright. You gotta say uh, something. I appreciate it. Uh, I said something. Uh, <laughs> shit, uh, uh. Say something funny. Uh. Funny, funny. Alright, yes! Yeah. Go! Yo, yo, is that funny meme? Funny memes on Instagram? Let's go. Yeah, okay, let's go. Um, so, right. I'm Sriracha Socks. I'm, uh, the editor, if you need me to play Worms with you. Yeah, if you want to play Worms, DM me. I got Worms Reloaded. You begged me to Armageddon. buy Worms today. Yeah, I said, I said, Pat, you should buy Worms. <laughs> you didn't even, you left me on scene. You left me on scene. I, I'm telling you guys, yeah, we, I have did. To get the SB, we have to get the SBC together and play Half-Life 1. It would be so fun. I think that would be fun, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 um... Talk to me afterwards, Ding Dong. I figured out a way that you could, we could probably all play Parappa the Rapper together. That's good. Um, I'm not at, obviously at home now. I don't have, oh, I have yeah, my yeah. Vita. I have my You're Vita, fine. my PlayStation 2 and, and 1. But when I get back, I'm going to be on a big time crunch to have to pay my bills. But uh, yeah. I, I'll, I'll be able to have some time to play. But uh, I just want to say to all the, the people watching, thank you guys for supporting us. Mm -hmm. um, thank you whether you like our funny episodes or our serious ones like this. I'm glad we get to talk about real stuff and then have a good time i'm just grateful for all you guys and stay tuned thanks for this amazing episode yeah for people that want it and our oh, viewers yeah. all right so good night or good morning everyone and uh we'll see you in the next one bye -bye. all right bye -bye. Bye. bye 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 felicia